Tika Moni back with another food review and as you can see I have my handsome assistant here to help me today. Hi. Uh, so I went to El Pollo Loco. They have some new lunch boxes. They're Loco lunch boxes. Here we are. And thank goodness they are not only available at lunchtime because it's like 6.15 and I'm really hungry. I'm actually really excited for this. Um, I feel like I should do every review when I'm super hungry because I just am dying to try this now. So before I dive into the box, first of all, let me give you a peek at this little box. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Right? It's pretty cool looking. And it should be because these meals cost $8.99. Wait. So I feel like a couple... Wait, I didn't even know that was a rooster. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of stuff on there. Um, these... Boxes are probably a big part of that cost, I'm guessing. So there are four different ones. <clears throat> there is a um, guacamole chicken burrito box. There is a Baja shrimp tacos box. An avocado chicken gordita and a chicken quesadilla box. So I got the Baja shrimp box. Big surprise, right? If you're already a subscriber, you know how much I love seafood and fish tacos and shrimp Ooh. tacos guys look at this oh yeah and let me just show you what he's got here i didn't even i've never heard of such a thing on the kids menu there they have a mac and cheese chicken taco let me see if i can show you what this looks like before he bites into it look it's like literally oh, oh. stuffed with mac and cheese and chicken sorry oh about that. it fell it fell well yeah. you know it's not on the floor guys it fell okay so I got the Baja Shrimp Tacos, and uh, that is two tacos made with corn and flour uh, blend artisan tortillas, and they're filled with shrimp cooked in a chipotle and garlic marinade, topped with fresh shredded cabbage, house-made pico de gallo, and a Baja Chipotle sauce. Um, these little menus all are supposed to come with chips, a little cup of guac, um, a cup of beans and rice, and also a churro. Ooh, that mac and cheese is pretty good. I just licked it off my fingers. Um, okay, so here is my first impression of this. I think they box. might have forgotten the guac. My husband got one too. He got the uh, avocado, I don't know, guacamole chicken burrito one, and they definitely forgot the guac in his. That's why he's uh, saying that. Um, so here is how this looks. First impressions are everything. Really nicely put together, right? So we've got one taco and two tacos. We've nice. got some napkins. We've got a fork. We've got the little beans and rice cup. I can only see beans on the top right now but we'll dive in there in a minute. Yeah, I'm guessing the rice is on the bottom. Oh my gosh, and they forgot our guac too. You were right. Ha, we've got some chips here and a churro. All right. <clears throat> well, first things first, I'm just gonna go straight for the Baja shrimp taco. I am disappointed that they forgot the guac, but in all reality, I have little guac cups in my fridge, so hey, it's not a total loss for me. Yes. You know how I knew that um, there wasn't any guac? How? Because I can read people's minds. And the minds of you guys in the future is you guys clicking the like button. Oh, yes. And the subscribe button. Oh, I like where he's going with that. Feel the future. Be the future. Feel the future. Hit the subscribe button. Okay. Yeah. So, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Let me see if I can show you without dumping it all over. Check it out, all right? We have got some shrimp right here. Look at these beautiful shrimp. Mm -hmm. Shrimps. <laughs> We've got fresh cabbage, pico de gallo. What else was it? Baja chipotle sauce. Oh my gosh, let's just dive right in. I'm liking these artisan tortillas too. These look beautiful. Let me give you a close up here. It looks like it would be crunchy, but it is actually soft. Interesting, right? Who doesn't want that bite? Come on. I do, I do. Mm. 
Man. That is so good. Also, in the future, you will click the bell button and get notified when we post a new video. Look at my manager here promoting the channel. I like it. Marketing. Man, this is killer. Okay, you get the smoky flavor from the chipotle, but not a ton of heat. It's not too spicy, but oh my gosh, packed with so much flavor and the shrimp are perfectly cooked. And you know, I appreciate the fact that they're not breaded. I feel like fast food chains um, always want to bread things and breaded is delicious. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking it, but I prefer a little more freshness every now and then, especially when it comes to seafood. Well cooked, not over. Let's see if you can get a close up of not only my fingers, but hopefully that little shrimp. Hopefully you got the full effect there, I'm not sure. But man, smoky, delicious. Oh my gosh, all the fresh um, produce to really make it shine. Mm. How's yours? Good. Mm. Oh my God, this is just phenomenal. Okay, so before I just keep devouring this, oh man, and I just can't get over the flavor. There is, um, like I said, a little bit of smokiness and a little heat from the Chipotle, but it's not too spicy. It's just perfect spicy. Hey guys, I've mm. taken a couple of bites out of this, but do you want to see me do you want to uh, see me take a bite? I do. Ooh, straight for the middle. <laughs> like a savage. That was, that was kid style. Amazing. It's not, they're so creative. Mac and cheese stuffed chicken taco. All right, so here is another look at those beans. Let's see what this side is all about. I'm assuming there's rice underneath. Oh, and I was correct. Buried below the beans. Oh, I don't even know. If, let me just uh, take a scoop out. So here's the rice. Ooh, it's pretty wet looking. Oh, there we go. Pretty wet looking. I prefer a drier um, Spanish rice, but probably because they have beans all over the top, it got a little bit more wet. So let's just go for it. Beans and rice together. It's not, um... Guys, um, do you guys want to hear a joke? Why don't you save it for the very end? Okay. Don't forget. Yeah. I'm going to try just the beans on their own this time. Good. I think it, it could be a little bit um, better seasoned, you know what I mean, to bring out the flavor a little bit more. I'm going to try the rice just on its own. The rice is actually pretty good especially for like a chain rice. Although um, <clears throat> I make Spanish rice from scratch and it is so good. I love homemade rice or like really authentic um, Spanish rice. It goes a long way. Let me give you another close up here. Hold on, I'm the getting Beans and water. rice cup. I'm getting water. Go for it. Pretty good. We have a couple items left here. We've got the chips. Regular tortilla chips. They're good. My mind instantly compares them to like Chipotle's chips, which I feel like are so delicious with that little hint of lime. I find myself wanting the hint of lime a little bit. No hint of lime, but uh, well seasoned, you know, actually maybe doing the chip dunk here would be the missing seasoning that I was uh, feeling. I'm back. I'm back. Coming. That's got it going on there. I would have loved to have tried their guacamole. Oh, I just have my toe. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. I'm okay. It's the worst. I hate the toe stub. I would have loved to have tried the guacamole with the chip, but you can't have it all, I guess. Yeah. The last thing, though, there is to try is the churro. I'll eat one side and you eat one side. Oh yeah, let's do it. Like Lady and the Tramp. Here it is. Now it doesn't have the traditional like star-shaped 
uh, churro shape that I'm used to. And I'm not sure how fresh it is. It's got a little bit of like grease residue going on here. I'm not sure if you can see my finger just from touching it. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, um, normally they're really hot and um, you can tell when they're fresh, but hopefully it's fresh anyway. It's just not hot anymore. So let's give it a try. You want to try a bite at the same time? Hold on, I'm chewing the chip. Let's finish the chip. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's good. All my criticism and smack talking, it just slapped me right back in the face with amazing flavor. I, that um, was good. I don't know if you guys saw um, that I was eating a chill earlier. If you did, um, leave a comment in the comment section below. I didn't but, even notice. But anyway, this tastes pretty much the exact same. Mm. It's fluffy and crispy and cinnamon and sugary. Everything that you would want in a churro, aside from the fact that it's not hot, it tastes like we may as well be at like the state fair and just got one fresh. <clears throat> all right, here you can just have the rest. Here, okay. it's all yours. Anyway, <clears throat> I if you can't tell, I am thoroughly enjoying this little lunch box and um, I highly suggest it. Hopefully, if you try it out there, they don't forget your guac, because that was a big disappointment. But the... She's a real guac fan. I am. But the um, Baja shrimp tacos are off the hook. And the chips are delicious. The beans and rice are pretty good. And um, overall, I can't complain. I do actually have one little side note. I feel like if you're paying $8.99... <laughs> $8.99... <laughs> For a lunch box, a loco box, they could throw in a drink. You know what I'm saying? It did not come with a drink. That's my one beef with it. But overall, delish. Yeah, but you can just own a giant water bottle. So that's right. Works. So I hope you enjoyed this review here. If you did, uh, like he said, he sees the future. Shoot us a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please make sure you hit that button down there. And uh, stay tuned because there is more to come. We have a bunch more great reviews planned in the near future. So stay tuned, check it out, hit the bell, and you'll just know. You won't even need to check it out. It'll yeah. let you know. Yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Yeah. It'll and, just oh, be, oh, the, the joke, joke. The joke. The joke. I'm, I almost forgot. Where do cows go when they want to make it big? Where do cows go? Moo York City. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I get the I get the Moo North City, but like the actual other part, I don't get it. I'll explain it to you in a minute. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, again, stay tuned. More to come. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.